my YouTube channel. Let me introduce myself and give you a little background before I talk about Enbridge, the oil spill, and what the EPA has done or not done. I grew up on a farm in Hillsdale, Michigan. I was MVP and captain of our high school wrestling team. I also played football. I then received a wrestling scholarship and I went to Muskegon Community College. I then decided to join the Navy. While I was in the Navy, I was a deck seaman and I also helmed an aircraft carrier, which means I drove it. I was honored to meet President Clinton when he was on our ship and I was also flown off our ship to go to wrestling tournaments and I received a bronze star for helping save a man's life and I'm very proud of that. Then I received an honorable discharge. I then was head wrestling coach and girls basketball coach in Battle Creek for a local junior high school. I then decided to go to Hillsdale High School and I was the assistant wrestling coach. I wanted to go back to college. I decided to wrestle again and I was then academic All-American while I was on the wrestling team. I have made mistakes in my past and I have fallen short. I am not perfect, but in the last 10 years, I've only received a five mile over speeding ticket. So I am trying to do and be the best person I can be. And I am trying to do what is right in this situation. Well, what happened was there was an oil leak and almost a million gallons of oil was spilled into Talmadge Creek and Kalamazoo River. Talmadge Creek is in Marshall, Michigan. It flowed all the way through Talmadge Creek into Kalamazoo River and into Battle Creek and Kalamazoo. It's uh, John Bowling Ball. Um, normally you don't see my face that often because I'm normally out in the river and videotaping and trying to show you oil that um, is in EPA cleared sites. When I say cleared, what I mean by that is they sign a piece of paper saying they're not going to do any more oil cleanup in that area. And they can do landscaping at that moment and they can put canvas over the, the area and they plant grass. Okay? Well, that means it's cleared. That means when I find oil there, that means that I caught them. Okay? I did that in at least a dozen sites or more where they say it's cleared say it's clean or clean enough to not go back and work and I prove there's oil there and I make them go back several spots and clean it up and it's costing them hundreds of thousands millions of dollars I mean we're talking about a lot of money this is about money people it's not about leaving oil in a little bit of area and it's a pocket of oil we're talking massive amounts um, one area has taken them almost a month to clean up and they were just leaving it. It was just sitting there. And they started cleaning it a few days after my video. Another place, a field full of oil. I mean, just four or five acres. The next day after my video, they go clean it up. It sat there for four months with animals bedding in it and eating it. And I don't know how many animals it killed. But it sat there for four months. And how do I know the EPA knew it was there? Because they tagged it. They flagged it and the owners of the property says the EPA was there and Enbridge was there several times and they never cleaned it up. And they almost were gonna let it say, stay because they said, their, their attorney said they'd get more money the longer the oil sat there. I'm not doing this, this ain't about money. This is about getting the oil cleaned up properly. Well, this is the situation that we're going through now. Several people have been lying about me saying I was a disgruntled worker. I never missed work, never late for work, never was rode up, never, not once. All right, I tried to be the best employee I can. Four days before I was fired, I was told that um, I was doing, hearing, they were hearing great things about me from my supervisors, all right? This is very important. Well, guess what? So they fire me, they wrongfully fire me. They fire me because I went to Enbridge and I said, I went to the press, I went to the EPA, and I'm going to the press and EPA again because Ceresco Dam is still full of oil. And October 14th was my birthday. We left Ceresco Dam, we pulled the boom out. All the submerged oil workers, we were told, it's cleared, EPA cleared it, let's go. We were going to the, another site the next day. 
when I saw Dave Murphy, I told him this. And I said, I'm going to the EPA again. It's got to be cleaned up. It's horrible there. Now, they've went back and they've cleaned some areas. It's still full of oil. And we're going to make them clean up more. The point is, they were out there for the last three weeks or a month working on that. And they're paying five airboats, 2500 bucks a day. An entire crew. And you telling me that they knew that there was oil there and they just left it? No. They went back to clean it up only after my videos came out. And they were at colleges and schools and they went to an oil task force meeting and said all the oil was out of there as far as they were concerned and it was cleared. There's this I got hundreds of witnesses that will say that. I've already had several come forward and say that. Hey, that's what they told me. Well, it's a lie. I was fired wrongfully. And this is from the unemployment agency. And so you uh, Enbridge workers that are lying about me and EPA and Laura Adams that uh, thinks she's a reporter and all the other reporters are saying she doesn't know how to report anything, especially when she lies. Um, I should sue you, Laura, because you do not have the right to lie about me. I am doing what's right for my community and you are not doing what's right for your community. All you're doing is down mouthing and talking bad about anybody that's trying to help our community except for Enbridge. Enbridge you're, you're just talking so great about but from what I've heard um, and it's anonymous sources I don't know if it's true but they're paying you off. <clears throat> Here's um, the letter from the unemployment agency just so you can see it so you have some proof all right I took my address out and I took uh, my social security number out and this is what it says you are discharged from SCT environmental available information does not establish that your separation was for misconduct all right did you hear that was not for misconduct it is found that you were not fired for a deliberate discharge or excuse me disregard of your employer's interest you are disqualified from benefits all right do you see that you are not disqualified from benefits so unemployment agencies telling um, SCT that they wrongfully fired me they didn't have uh, I didn't break any policy I didn't do anything that um, was against the company. Um, I tried to help my community and they wrongfully fired me. So they can say what they want and people can lie about me all they want. I did the right thing and I'm very very proud of it. Out of 1800 workers, we're talking 1800 workers, I'm the guy that reported them. I'm the guy that videotaped it. I'm the guy that risked their job and lost their job and came forward to do so. And I'm the guy that's been threatened with arrest been assaulted by Enbridge employees, been threatened, my life has been threatened, and there's warrants going to be put out, and there's investigations, and Enbridge, you need to look out because I'm not going away. And you, what you are doing to our environment is sickening, and you think you can get away with it. You know what, you might throw me in jail, you might make something up, you might do something to me, you might kill me, I don't know what you'll do. You know, maybe you won't do anything, but all I do know is I have been assaulted by your employees or subcontractors on several occasions, and we have videotape of that, and that's the, I got only one videotape out. I have more videotapes of other people assaulting me from your employment um, crop of people. So say what you want, do what you want, um, but I know I'm right, and um, maybe you guys will come to my funeral and laugh. But I know my community will come to my funeral and say, hey, he did what he could against a trillion dollar company um, that didn't really care about that community. So, go ahead. I'm not going anywhere. I'll be back this spring and I'm going to prove where there's oil. If you cleaned it up right, I'm okay with that and I'll give you credit. You have cleaned up areas and you did a great job. But I know for a fact you told us to cover it up and I know there's lots of oil in cleared areas and now you're going back and cleaning it up and and I'm gonna make sure that every area you clear is clean I'm going to every single area after you clean it and if you cleared it you better watch out because I'll prove you wrong and uh, if, it, if there's still oil there don't let me do that just do it right the first time
And they won't listen to you, huh? They about won't dig- listen to any Enbridge employee. About digging it out? I don't know. They don't want to hear what... I operate heavy equipment. That's my type. They don't want to hear what some of the equipment operator has to say. From what I hear, they don't want to listen to anybody. Anybody that says they got to do extra. <laughs> Just possibly. Whatever. Let them hang up. How, how long have you been working for Enbridge? Five, almost five years. Really? So I'm really torn. I don't know what to do. Are they really going to try to clean that up next spring, or are they just going to keep it covered up? No, they're going to they're going to have boats here spring. They're going to be at it again springtime. But how are they going to dig up what they covered up? Don't know. That's what I need to know. Don't know. Where, where was the cover up area? I can't tell you that. Alan, come on. I can't tell you that, bro. I'm not getting involved in this. Year. I'm not getting involved. But well, you're not involved in it. I'm just not going to do it, bro. I want information. I don't I'm know how to get you it. Won't, but these people here, they pay my bills and shit. Yeah, but you might be gone in a day. I don't care. Fuck, I, I've made over $100,000 no, in I, two I, months. I'm good. But well, whatever they decide to do with me, they fed my family. So I'm not going to bite the hand that feeds me. I just can't do it. They, they haven't done me nothing. This is the way I understand it. I understand that it's going to come back and bite them in the ass. You know what I mean? And if they don't, clean it out. You know? They don't. I just found tons of oil in the swamp over here. Ton. Oh, there's tons out there. I, I can't believe EPA is saying that it's cleared up. Or, you know, that they're approving the site. It's amazing. Bowling ball. Trying to get information. I can't? What do you think about the cover-up, Jason? What do you think about the cover-up? You're on video right now. I have you on video trying to cover up oil. So, Fox News will be here tomorrow. Jason, you got anything to say? He's the all famous fuck. Don't lose your job, I will be very surprised. Jason's still trying to get me arrested, everybody. It's November 8th. Just came out where the island is where we found tons of oil with Channel 6. There's Channel 6 right there. There is a there is a PPA order out until 2011. Okay, you guys aren't allowed back to the camp anymore. All right. So you guys can go ahead and leave. And if you come back, you'll be subject to arrest. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. And if I get approval from a th- uh, higher up, then that you know. Okay. So I'll get approval from uh, proper officials so I can go back in. Well, I'm telling you. Jason, he's trying to get me arrested. That's from Enbridge. So, they said that the river, they own the river, everybody. They're trying to get me arrested, saying that I cannot go on the river, find oil, find this stuff that's laying in the middle of the water that they've left behind. They're saying that I should be arrested and go to jail because I'm trying to help my community. Because they don't want you guys to know about all the oil that we just found. We just found tons of oil back there that they approved a month ago, officers. A month ago they approved it. I was there the last day that we were done. It's it's bad back there, and Channel 6 got it all on tape. See, Enbridge is uh, wasting taxpayers' dollars right now having these police officers that need to do their job in other places try to stop me from finding oil in this community that the EPA and Enbridge has left. He's wasting taxpayers' dollars trying to arrest me for helping my community. Sorry he had to bother you guys. Put that fucking up down. No. If you touch it, I'm going to give you a rest of your soul. I'll touch you. I'll and do it. I'll put the phone away, bitch. No. I'm not fucking with people. You guys are working right now because of me. They rehire people because of me. That's oh, you're a piece of shit. Ambridge has assaulted me three times tonight. Now their guards are telling them to stop. 